Hey strangers, so today I am going to do a Fresh Impression versus between two different brands. This I was, okay don't mind that, I cannot control construction around here so I'm just going to have to talk pretty loud. But anyways, uh, this is the Tarte High Performance Naturals and it's the festival glittery thing. I always have been eyeing this and I really wanted to check it out and see what the hype is about. So that's why I bought it and I was going to order it online. Now the net weight of this one is about 14 milliliters and I'm going to be comparing it to the Ink Credible uh, You Glow Girl Iridescent Jelly by Cosmic Blur. I think that's the brand and this one there's about uh, 0.32 ounce and this one has 0.47 ounces. So this one retails for $15 whereas this one retails for $23. It's really hard to find this one because I feel like online it got discontinued for I don't know what um, but we'll see. Like I really hope that it works really well. Here it shows that she's using it in the inner corners and the outer so I think what I might do is one cheek do um, this inner corner with this and then on this one I do the inner corner with this and the outer corner with that. I am going out in public so hopefully no one looks at me weird but you know it's Toronto a lot of people express their own styles so whatever they want to do they do it so I'm gonna do this. The first time I seen this at the store I was really anticipated in it. It was near the cash so I really wanted to try it out. Now let me see if I can open it somehow without ruining the box but I don't think that's possible oh there you go that's how you open it oh, the packaging is really really cute guys it has like this iridescent thing here and the glitter I mean if you put a lot of pressure it does fall out but for the most part it shouldn't and it's just really nice like look at that I don't know if you guys can see it it's really really pretty and then the iridescent, it comes in like this drug store style um, packaging. And then, and this was part of the Sephora, you know how Sephora has like Sephora Favorites eyeliner, Sephora Favorites concealer, and all that stuff. This was in the Sephora Favorites, um, whatchamacallit, highlighters. So we're going to try this out. We're going to open it up. I'm going to show you guys a better view of these two side by side. So I just opened it and I see a piece of little hair there. I don't know if that's a hair or that's a glitter. but mm. And the smell of it already smells like petroleum oil or something. From this one I know for sure because in the store when I first seen it I smelt that thing. So I was like shit. But let's take that. I don't know if that's a hair or... A glitter piece. Let me just put that there. Okay, I think that's a glitter piece that just kind of looks like a hair. So there's that. It's quite thick. And then I'm going to open this one and show you guys how it looks like. Texture of it is very different. It has like a putty look to it. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is that holographic effect there. Whereas this one, it's like basically it's not moving anywhere. So let's do a swatch of this and show you guys how it looks like. And I'm just going to swatch it from the lid there. Oh my gosh, I already did a dab and look at that. It is a gorgeous on its own. I'm going to put it on my skin and then the other one. Oh yeah, it's like slimy. So this one sort of looks like that. The incredible. So let's do a swatch on my arm and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to first do the incredible. Now applying it, I don't feel any sort of glittery action there. It is quite light. I don't know if you guys can even see that. I think you guys can build it up, that's for sure. But I'm going to put it on my face soon. But see, there's a slight budge there. Whereas the Tarte one, it's already dried up. Because I guess once you put it on, it dries up. So let me just grab another wet part of it. Now, the Tarte one is a lot more chunkier, but it is beautiful. I think the best way to apply is not by swashing, but then just kind of like dabbing it on. But look at that. It is so gorgeous. I can't wait to put it on my face, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in the inner corner now because I'm scared that those um chunks are going to go in my eyes. So let's put this onto my face and see how it looks. So I'm going to put the Tarte one on this side. Oh my god, can you guys see that? 
Oh, it's actually really, really pretty. Oh, yes. Now, this kind of look, I think I can only see myself wearing it, like, if I were to go to work at Lush or something. Because I don't think I can see myself using this um, as a daily highlighter or anything like that. Now, let's put the jelly one on this side. So I want to see how this one looks. Incredible one is a lot more subtle, obviously. Um, when I'm putting it on, I don't really see much there. So I'm going to put some more on there just to see how it can build up. And I don't wear any foundation. I only wear concealer, so I can't really tell you guys if it flakes or anything like that. But I'm looking at this one, and I feel like when I was applying it, a little bit of my because uh, I do use toners and serums and mists so I feel like a lot of the mist is starting to cake up which is not a good look but let's just put this on yeah I don't know it's quite subtle now this one has really no scent to it which is great I mean I don't really mind but this one it just it smells like Oh, it's hard to explain. It smells like a bike tire or something like that. Not the most pleasant way to describe it. But let's see if this would look good in the inner corners, actually. I kind of want to try this here. I don't know. This one, I don't know. I feel like it's not really working that well. Can you guys see it? I don't think you guys can even see it. So, yeah, like it has a really nice... Oops, I got a little bit of tart thing. It has a really nice, um, whatchamacallit, purple shimmer to it. If you guys can see that, but that's really it. So let me put the tart... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to put the tart one on the inner corners and see how that's going to look. Oh yeah, okay. There's that one diamond, random diamond there, which is pretty sad. So I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more. Okay. So that is the product on. So this is the Tarte. Where is this? The Incredible. So I'm gonna leave it on for the rest of the day. I'm probably gonna be out for it. Look at my fingers. It's like, I'm gonna probably be out for a while, but I'll come back and let you guys know how well they sit on my skin. I don't know how it's gonna look, but let's try it out. And already on my hand, there's a closer swatch. So that's the Tarte one, and that is the Ink Incredible. So I'm still out. This is the Incredible, which has like that nice purple sheer. It kind of looks like the NYX powder dual chrome, so it's very, very subtle. Whereas this one is very out there, but it's starting to look a little bit chalky, I find. And it feels gritty to the touch. And then whereas this one is very comfortable. I do like it in the inner eye though, it really pops up. I'm surprised Charlie didn't say anything about it. I'm just hanging out with him at Ikea, but we're gonna still see how it looks throughout the day. And it's also not irritating or anything like that too, so that's nice. Oh my gosh, as I'm editing this video, I forgot to do a proper outro for the two glittery stuff. So my final thoughts on these is that with this one, it is very, very light coverage. I find that you'd have to build up on it to create a really nice chromatic look. Um, so this is great for everyday wear. I love it because it honestly looks like you put on like a powdered highlighter, not a jelly one. So it's very thin. You don't feel any grits about it. So um, with this one, would I repurchase it? Probably not, only because I have other dupes, just like the NYX chromatic, um, dual chromatic highlighters. That one is very much like this one. So it's really nice to try if you guys want to try out a jelly highlighter, but I wouldn't repurchase it, but it does work really well. 
whereas the Tarte one, the smell does bother me, but I get more compliments when I wear this. I've worn this probably like three times since the video, and each time people have complimented on it and they actually see it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it only because the smell and all that stuff, but it's great to have as part of your highlighter collection. It very much pops your cheeks and creates some duochrome that's not like any other highlighters, so I highly recommend this one. Um, there's probably no dupes out there at the moment, but I really love the scaly um, highlight features it has. So if you guys want to check it out, I hi highly um, suggest for you guys to go do swatches of them, or if you guys can't find a swatch of this, do get it if you love putting on like festival um, looks or you like going all out when you go out for the night or anything like that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I post weekly videos as well as weekly vlog videos. So I will catch you guys in a later one. See ya.